afternoon on this glorious and warm October afternoon. I've just come up to do a, a little video for you of a new listing, the beautiful Villa Geranium. It's this property here on the left hand side. And you can see nice flagstone driveway or street parking. So that's a, a double rolling gate. And then just up to my right there, there's a pedestrian gate which works on a intercom system. And then you go just down to the end of the street and you've got beautiful open countryside. Now the property is located in a very small established community of villas. It comes under Zehenna, but it's actually closer to Arbaleus. It's a very easy walk to Arbaleus Centre. It's currently, well, always has been used as a beautiful lock up and leave holiday home. So the garden's been laid out, as you can see, you know, for low maintenance. Good old dog barking as usual. That's a little detached casita in front of me. Flagstone driveway goes into a flagstone path and leads to a big flagstone terrace at the back of the villa. Very, very high spec this one and the build of it, very high quality of build. And you can see it's been beautifully presented. These two windows here into the lounge, you've got a guttering all the way around. Wonderful covered porch. Relaxation dining area that's been kind of fly screen enclosed. You've got pull down blinds for those days when it's particularly sunny. I love this frontage. You know, when the owners come here on holiday, they're currently here at the moment, they don't want to spend weeks actually getting the garden straight just so they can enjoy it. So you've got an orange and a lemon there and a nice bougainvillea and all of these are established plants and shrubs that need very little maintenance. They've had a large area of artificial grass which runs down the entire right hand side of the property. We'll have a look at that in a minute. get some idea of the views from this covered porch and that's to the left and to the right so it's a wonderful spot you know to sit out relax have some dinner in the evenings you can see all around the base of the villa you've got quality marble top stone cladding this keeps away all the flaky paint and the dampness inside outside walls so here you can see are immaculate now there's a, a terrace if you like of spanish owned homes immediately behind the property and just over there to the right they're occupied at the moment and one of them is genuinely a little small holding but you know very charming and authentic spain all of these patios and terraces and stuff you're seeing these are kind of additions over and above the builder's spec which the current owners have installed just to make the gardens a lot more low maintenance. No apologies here for the glug, but this beautiful hot tub, which will remain at the property. And just look at the views from there. And then sitting above us, you've got a glorious private roof terrace. The door there goes immediately into the kitchen. So this is a, perfect entertaining terrace and the spiral stairway there you see will take us up to the roof terrace which we'll pop up to in a second you saw this patio from the front well this is what it looks like from the back as easy to maintain as gardens possibly can be I think some discreet storage areas there hidden away at the side of the villa so a little pan round from this side for you look at that glorious backdrop now I'm not going to spend too much time up here because it's a bit more breezy but I've come up to this wonderful roof terrace very very private just wonderful views from both sides Away. Sorry, a little bit of a glitch on the phone there, so apologies for that. But a low 
third power button threatened to cut the video off mid flow back to normal now so back downstairs and just a little pan around for you from the other side you can see the big chimney there that links to a wood burning fire that's in the lounge I don't know if you're getting a kind of clue here the condition as you can see not just of the villa but the outside walls and the whole garden area is just absolutely immaculate as I say it's used currently or has always been used as a holiday home but equally good as a full-time property now there's ample room for a swimming pool to be added this is urban plot but the current owners of you know never wanted one they love the hot tub they don't want the hassle associated with maintaining and keeping a pool clean and refurbishment so they've never added but it's urban land it'd be very easy to get a license and there's ample room in the back garden there I'd say for a six by three meter ball so let's go and have a wander around and go and take a look on the interior so I've just come into the covered porch there see that beautiful backdrop now the sun rises behind the property so it's literally just up above my head there so of an evening this is bathed in sunshine beautiful spot to come and have a meal relax front door access there just in front of me which leads into a central l-shaped hallway and that gives access then to all the other rooms That's the entry phone system there which controls the pedestrian gate gorgeous central hallway main family bathroom there immediately at the end through the arch beautiful wood doors here that connect into the very bright and airy sitting room have a little pan around that for you lovely bay front there with three windows in, throwing loads and loads of light into this room. Corner mounted wood burning stove. I think you'll agree with me, I think the owners have got the perfect balance on this property in terms of the way it's been furnished. Now the furniture can be, a lot of the furniture you see can be included se subject to separate negotiation. <laughs> look at the lounge now from the other side you see that arched access there leads you into the kitchen very nice design feature because there's also another doorway from the hallway so you can access the kitchen from both the lounge and the hallway and then there's further access out to the back garden that you saw a little earlier this has got the full climate control system so the vents here you can you've got panels and you can literally have hot and cold air circulating around the property fly screen throughout so through the lounge and through the arched access at the end and i'll come out to the beautifully appointed kitchen the washing machine in this is apparently new you can see the back door there that leads straight out into the garden where the Stairs go up to the roof terrace and also with a jacuzzi, the hot tub's located. Very, very good sized kitchen. Love these units, to be honest. They look absolutely beautiful. And then doorway access there out to the hallway. Little dining table for two out here as well. So it's a very good sized kitchen. So the entrance door here right in front of me into the l-shaped hallway and as you saw when i came in at the end of this you have the gorgeous family bathroom it is actually a full bath it goes into a little recess there around the corner with an overhead shower love the tiling scheme in this back out into the hallway and now going around to the right and here you have the villa's three double bedrooms so i'll start off with the main guest bedroom very good size room look you've got these lovely 
double aspect windows in here ceiling fan above me full bank of fitted wardrobes coming out into the hallway the doorway on the right there's the master so I'll do that last for you the third bedroom say so all of these have got climate control which is effectively vented air conditioning and heating you've got a ceiling fan in here as well this is the only one of the three bedrooms there's room but it hasn't got fitted wardrobes in this this was a normal trait if you like of the builder finally into the master bedroom which looks out over the back garden Another full bank of fitted wardrobes in here. And the doorway there in front of me leads into the very spacious, it's beautifully appointed as well, ensuite bathroom. I'll film this from both ends for you. So you've got this stunning marble top vanity unit there. You can see a towel heater and a wonderful mirror above this and then from the other end you can see fabulous double shower so i'll leave you with this lovely aspect so there you have the walk around video villa geranium with an easy walk of arbalea center just a three minute drive as well to the pretty market town of zahena and then on to Alpha Kia. Full details will be in the link below. Viewings can be arranged immediately. Contact us as always. Kalida Holmes at hotmail.com. Plus three four nine five zero four three zero seven six three. We very much look forward to hearing and hope you'll come and have a look at this fabulous property.